Hello, I'm Larry Heakley, Senior Technical Advisor for PowerWash.com. We're taking a look at this trailer unit here. Uh, this one is an RK43 1A. That means we have installed a 40 RK43 on a single axle trailer unit. Uh, this particular configuration is, uh, is available or this single axle trailer unit is available with any gasoline engine machine that we sell. Okay, we're looking at the front portion of the single axle trailer unit. From this angle, you can see the pump head, the pressure gauge, the water tank kit. The water tank kit allows you to select the use of your bulk water tank or of your float tank. The float tank can be used if you don't want to put water in your bulk water tank or it can be used for antifreezing for winterizing purposes. You simply change this valve. If you'll note, on the yellow handle of the valve, there's an arrow. There are two arrows. One arrow in this position points towards the line going up to the pump. The other arrow points towards this hose which goes in to your float tank. To switch to the bulk water tank, you simply put it in the up position and one arrow is pointing towards the line going to the pump and the other arrow is pointing down to the line going to your bulk water tank. This gate valve is placed in line in case you don't have enough vacuum to draw soap through your pump, you can increase that vacuum by slowly closing this valve until you start to draw chemical through your chemical line. And you can monitor the pressure gauge to be certain that as you're closing that, you're not starving the pump so much that it affects the pressure. This hose right here is a whip hose that comes from your coil discharge and runs back to the back of the trailer where it connects to your ho hose reel. If you note, this trailer is equipped with a bulldog hitch one of the finest hitches on the market and a swing away trailer jack so you can raise the front end of the trailer to disconnect it from your vehicle uh, or level the trailer. When the time comes that you want to hook it up to your vehicle. Once you hook it to, the, to your vehicle, all you have to do is raise this jack until it no longer touches the ground. There's a spring-loaded pin here on the side, and you pull out on that pin. It then releases the jack, and the jack swivels up, and you reinsert the pin, and it locks it in position. We're now looking at the back of the 1A trailer unit. In this particular configuration, you can see the burner end of the RK43. You note the battery box, your Beckett ADDC 12 volt burner, your water trapping fuel filter, 
As you note, everything's easy to get to and work on. This is your HR46 hose reel. It comes equipped with a hundred feet of pressure hose, a trigger gun, 40 inch wand with quick coupler. So you can easily change your spray tips. That hose I was showing you earlier that comes out of your burner discharge ties in to your hose reel swivel on this end of the trailer. The HR46 also is equipped with a hose reel lock to keep your hose from winding out when you're driving down the road. Anytime you use this particular piece of equipment or any piece of equipment that has a hose reel as an accessory, always remember that you need to take all of the hose off the reel to keep from causing damage to the reel or to the hose itself. As you can see, these trailers have a floorboard of pressure treated lumber and they work quite well and hold, hold up well for a lot of years. If you wish, you can also install a tailboard on this trailer simply by going to your local lumber store and get you a 2 by 10 or 2 by 12 and measure the inside length from here to that side, cut your board to that length and drop it down in here. It'll hold in place and keeps things from sliding off the bed of your trailer if you wish. For pricing and more information on this, you can contact us at 1-800-433-2113. That's 1-800-433-2113.